here. I don't want to, I got to actually be very careful with uh, uh, Karen's, Karen's guitar because the, uh, the basswood is very, is soft. It's very soft. So it's, uh, it's really easy to dent without any finish. I'm going to do a, a polyurethane matte finish on it to seal it really nice. But uh, anyway, I'm just going to keep that safe. I'm going to put it in my safe. I have a safe uh, drawer here. And I'm going to put it in there. Because I'm constantly like grabbing things and stacking things on top of them. So anyway. I was actually, uh, my mom is in town and I was just talking to her the other night about uh, Waylon Jennings and uh, how like that era, that era of, uh, of country music, which is a solid, solid era. good songwriting I think that's why what it kind of attracted me to it was just the songwriting you know that's why I really like if you guys haven't listened to Towns Van Zant, he's he's very good he's a very troubled individual but his his songwriting is just great like just a storyteller. I think that's what, I think that's the kind of music that I'm kind of drawn to is, is like, uh, not necessarily like, I like catchy beats as much as the next guy, but it's definitely, um, I will re-listen to uh, something that has just good lyrics, good, good storytelling. That's, that's kind of, I think why I, I like that, that era of music. The pank might, the pank might. Um, you might need, you might need a telly at some point there, Willie. So the pank guitar has a couple P90s in it. Um, you, you heard some demos of it with Jaime was playing it. He's kind of a jazzy guy. Um, so it, he demoed it really well. Um, but the great thing about um, the P90s is, is you get that, yeah, you get those really nice, clear uh, tones, but then you can dirty it up if you want and do like kind of psychedelic rock, even metal on that. Like it just, it, they're very versatile, those P90s. A uh, little noisy, but that's kind of part of it. So uh, I would like, yeah, yeah. I would like to see more, more, um, most of the time when you see country music or stuff like that, they're usually playing tellies, but it's like, I'm surprised you didn't see more P90s. I would like to, I'd like to hear more P90s in kind of like country rock type stuff. Would sound, I think it would sound really good. I made my dad uh, a guitar with some gold foils, which are similar to the P90s um, in how they're made. And the gold foils sound really good. And I have some more. Uh, they're like the, the vintage style. Um, uh, the vintage style pickups. If you haven't seen them. I have some here. I'll show you. So these, these pickups here are, are very, very old school. You, you see them on like vintage. These are Firebird pickups. So they nice like kind of classic these are mini humbucker firebird pickups 
uh, that are kind of neat. And then I got the, uh, the gold foils, except they're not gold, they're silver foils, but I can get gold foils. So what I'm going to do with these, these are very retro looking. Uh, the problem is I can't get pickup rings for these, so I'm either going to have to make my own um, or direct mount them. They're, they're designed to actually be mounted on top of the body um, on kind of like vintage Japanese guitars from the 60s would always have these on the Tiesco's. Anyway, that's, uh, I have four sets of these. So I have an idea. I think I'm going to do an aluminum top with these. I think that would look really neat. Do a full metal, metal top on the guitar. <laughs> Emmett was a Muppet. Emmett's sleepy on the couch now. He's moving around. I'm still sanding. Let's see how clean the rest of that that line. It does need to. It does. It will come down a little bit more, but uh, so like I said, I'm doing a 12 inch radius. I was playing one a guitar I built my uh, a really early guitar I built, um, which I I'm going to put some new sandpaper on this thing actually, um, which actually had a a really wide um, a really wide and a 16 inch radius and it was actually uh, felt really nice to play um, so I'm kind of kind of torn as far as like what what to do with things usually I do 12 because that's pretty standard but uh, 16 doesn't feel bad either if you're doing kind of like finger finger picking style but, uh, I'm just going to throw some new 100, uh, 120 grit sandpaper onto this. Um, I just put the uh, double side tape on and then. Where's my sandpaper? Here it is. You can also do 80 grit. Um, I don't. I don't mind the 120 on there, though it does wear out a little bit quicker. And then I sand it up to 400 before I put the frets on. That's another thing: is you want to get it all really nice before you put the frets on because it'll be harder to uh, to clean it up after the fact. So you get it really clean and then you're really careful when you're doing your fret dress. Sorry, I, I'm not keeping up with... Damn it. The sea leopard dog. <laughs> he does, he looks like, uh, yeah, he does kind of look like a sea leopard.
Yeah, it's sanding a lot, a lot better now. Uh, your your fingerboard wood is always super dense. It's so dense. Uh, maple, ebony, rosewood. You want a really dense wood for your fingerboard. That's why those ones are used. But anything that's like um, as dense, like around that that density is good. Um, people have used softer woods. Um, sometimes people are like, uh, they don't think that it will last as long. And so like you can use black walnut. Um, I have a really old banjo, not really old, it's from the 40s. And so it's like 80 years old. It was played quite a bit. It has a walnut fingerboard and it's it's no more worn than any other guitar, honestly. So there's there's some people who are like, oh, don't use softer woods. And I understand why they say that and it totally makes sense, but you can do black walnut. You can. It was funny, I was talking, so in North America, because we just have so much maple, um, like hard maple, uh, we use a lot of maple uh, for the fingerboards and we don't use walnut, but you're doing balsa? How, what's the, the Yonka scale of balsa? Any wood will work, though some, Some are definitely, I think <laughs> the nice thing with ebony is it's not very porous. It's very smooth. It's very dense. 70. <laughs> Whatever works for your guitars, man. I'm not going to tell Rage how to party. Hey, how was your uh, wood, wood adventure? Pretty good. What did you get? Jaime just returned from the wood store. He's going to regale us with tales of so getting wood. Happy Friday. Yeah. Walnut is crazy expensive. What's it going for right now? $30 a board foot. What? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, That's insane. We upgraded to, upgraded to mahogany. So mahogany, so what's mahogany? mahogany? $15.99. $15. Crazy. So, so mahogany is now cheaper than walnut. African. African the mahogany. Durin is 31. Yeah, that's about right. Oh, sorry. Uh, sorry, Rage. He was just saying that, would you say, 30... 30-ish 30 bucks. $30 Canadian for black, black walnut. So that would be about $25 a board foot. And it was twelve nine nine. Like, it was like 13 dollars a board foot the last time yeah that's that's ridiculous um yeah you can get it for 12 yeah like we were getting it for like 14 so i don't know what changed um that's crazy but mahogany is super cheap at windsor that's really weird so you got you got mahogany then so are you going to do a mahogany body mahogany body yeah. It shouldn't. Actually, neck as well. Yeah. I yeah. That's the thing. So Jaime went to a, a different a wood store where you can get smaller quantities. I think you can still get cheaper, but you would have to buy like a twelve foot board. Hey Hayes, how are you doing? Hey Emmett, Emmett is here to. Hey Emmett, Emmett. Oh, he, he wants to see Jaime. <laughs> Greetings. <laughs> just just sniffing your crotch. Not PG-13. Yeah. <laughs> He's getting all the attention. Yeah. 
Donde es la fiesta? Donde es la fiesta? Right here, brother. The party's right here. <laughs> oh, Emmett. Emmett. Megan is here, but you can't see her, but she can see you. <laughs> Hayes. Yeah. Where's the party for you, Hayes? It's Friday. We're partying tonight, right? It's already... Saturday. It's, it's beer o'clock. Yeah. According to my book. Hayes, Hayes is in Europe. Oh, really? Yeah, so it's already Saturday it's like there. Midnight? Almost? Oh, uh, yeah, it's probably almost midnight. What are you doing home? It's Friday night. Denmark, yeah. He's in Danish. We miss you, Megan. <laughs> 2.29. Yeah. That's, this is the party. This is the party. Is sanding the party. party, everybody. <laughs> Friday night sanding party. Right Why go out when the sanding is right here? You don't have to get that seedy sanding on the street corner. You can just come here where it's nice and clean and safe. And you can stay in the comfort of your own home. I know you need your sanding fix. I know you're jonesing for it and you'll be walking up and down those those alleys and those those filthy streets trying to get your sanding fix fear not you can get it right here all night i got what you need yeah for free for free oh what's that is he getting into that amp i guess he's sitting on the court oh is he I just heard the amp turn on. <laughs> it's just like, what's Emmett doing in there? About to have a solo. So we had uh, the other, last night, um, uh, Jaime's, Jaime's band came by for rehearsal. And uh, their drummer, their, is it Alonzo? Yeah, He's a really good guitar he, player. He considers himself a guitarist that yeah. plays the drums. That plays the drums. Yeah. He's a he's <laughs> funny really guy. Really yeah. I haven't heard him play drums yet, but he's just one of those guys that just picks up any instrument and just starts playing it. He, he saw Will's headless eight string and just was like, I want a gent. <laughs> <laughs> he's a great guy. Yeah. I got all the 120 you need, but bum's dead. I got 120. I got all the the finest 120. It'll get you the finest, the finest sand. You've never. If you, I've even got higher grits, man. If you want to go higher, I got 220. I got 320. I got 400. I can take you all the way, all the way to 2,000. But if you want 12k, you go somewhere else. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't deal that man i don't do that you go somewhere else if you want 12k i don't get that high <laughs> um esta li yando la guitarra la cosmos where estas lijando la guitarra la cosmos he's saying you are sending the Cosmos guitar. Oh, okay. Cosmo. The Cosmos, yeah. It's like the galaxy. Yeah, the galaxy, this one. Yeah. yeah. I understand your Spanish. Hey, that's pretty good Spanish. Yeah. Not bad. <laughs> Don't know if that's right. My Spanish is like... <laughs> yeah. It's better than my Spanish. Lijando, that's an unusual <laughs> word. I'm, I'm surprised you know that. Yeah. <laughs> that's a cool name for that guitar. Cosmo. Cosmo. Um, 12k sorry man I can't help you go somewhere else man go somewhere else so tomorrow tomorrow you still down uh, Bumstead are we chatting tomorrow uh, we're going to do a, uh, a podcast chat with uh, me Bumstead and Guitar Show Australia uh, we're, we'll be talking acoustics but we'll probably talk some smack and talk about other things as well so uh, join us um, tomorrow at this time, half an hour before now. So whatever time it is now, 
a half hour before is when we start. 5 p.m. Pacific time, yeah. So looking forward to that. I didn't do one last weekend, so I'm like, oh, I gotta get things together this weekend, so. Manny, Manny and Babumstead. Two heavy hitters. Yeah, yeah. Jaime is the shop's uh, interpreter. More interpreting required? Yeah. No, he's just saying it's good. It's good that you're here so he can practice his Spanish. We had... I, yeah, I, I have one. Uh, I haven't seen Kathy or in a while. Uh, probably because school's done. Um, but uh, Kathy is from Spain. Um. Yo tengo mucho pulgas. Pulgas. <laughs> pulgas. Yo tengo muchas pulgas. I don't know what pulgas. that is. Yeah. But it's what dogs get that like bites them and it itches. Yeah. Uh, what's the word for that? Uh, like ticks. Ticks. Yeah. What like like the bu the yeah, insect. Like this tiny bug. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. It. Ticks. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. That's another great word. Yeah. Hey, where are you coming with all these great words? Oh, that was rage. Rage. Rage, hey. rage is. Uh, <laughs> Tortuga. <laughs> Rage is uh, from uh, California, Southern California. He has, he knows Spanish. <laughs> Hello, everyone. <laughs> he's rolling a cigarette, by the way. I just want everyone to know he's rolling a cigarette. You can see the color. Yeah, black. yeah, you can see, I'm just, this is. It's brown, there's no green in there. Yeah, just he's putting brown. a filter in there. Yeah. Rage is, is half Mexican. Right on, Rage. Is uh, smoking not allowed on video? And and oh, no, it's just like uh, drug use. Uh, if somebody thought you were rolling a joint, that's technically, I'm, I don't I'm think. I'm sure there's stoner. Yo, oh, yeah, there are. It's just like. Oh yeah, there totally are, man. There sure. totally are. But uh, this is a clean stream. This is a clean. You can roll your your you do your rollies. That's all good. But I don't endorse smoking on this stream either. We don't smoke. We don't drink. We don't gamble. Seriously harms you and others around. Yeah, yeah. What about Emmett? <laughs> we don't swear. This is. We vape. Hayes vapes. Hayes makes his own juice. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Yeah. We just sit. We just that's sand. That yeah, that's all we do is sand. So you guys, let me tell you about. Yeah, it's a Goody Two Shoes channel. Let me tell you something. Have you guys ever heard of the Shakers, the group in America? Sometimes you hear it referred to as shaker furniture it's a style of furniture it's very really nice furniture that's very simple but very well made it is kind of considered uh, shaker furniture so the shakers speaking of like ultra conservative uh the shakers were kind of basically a cult an american cult yeah it's amish style but they were they weren't amish they were started by this, this woman, I think. Anyway, it was this group. They, they got married, but they refused to have children. Like, they wouldn't have sex. They wouldn't drink. They wouldn't smoke. They, they wouldn't have children. Um, but they would dance. That's why they called them shakers. Because they were, they were dancing. That's how they get... The, and they made furniture. So... As you could imagine, any um, group that refuses to have children um, d 
doesn't exist, but their furniture still exists. Uh, that was their uh, legacy in American culture is uh, their furniture. So they got, they just woodworked. So anyway, this is now a shaker, a shaker channel. And we're just going to woodwork and maybe dance. If you really have to, just get it out dancing. We'll take our cues from that. <laughs> yes. Yeah, they, they're an interesting group of, of people. Uh, great furniture. Here's another thing. Um, they're an offshoot of the Quakers. They were like, yeah, extreme Quakers. They also, you, people, um, remember th there's one song called Simple Gifts that they, people have taken that melody to like the Quakers weren't extreme. They, they were in the Quakers and they were just like, not extreme enough. These, these people are too progressive for us. They're like, these, not enough. The Quaker, like imagine being, living with the Quakers and being like, not enough, not enough at all. Anyway, they, uh, there's a song uh, called Simple Gifts. It's a beautiful song. Um, and that's one of the things that exists from them. Uh, there's no more shakers left in the world, but furniture and one song. So uh, have you guys ever heard of the, um, the, the Lord of the Dance song? You know that song? Dance, dance, wherever you may be. I am the Lord of the dance, said he, and I'll lead you all to wherever you may be, and I'll lead you all to the dance, said he. That's actually not the original lyrics, uh, but everyone knows that song, that melody. You know, anyway, uh, look it up. The Simple Gifts song is, uh, is, is a really beautiful American uh, kind of old folk song. And uh, there's so many renditions of it, and it's found its way into symphonic um, compositions and stuff like that. And so it's kind of interesting uh, that that's all that's left of a, a strange, strange group of people. <laughs> In, there was a dancing plague. I know about the dancing plague. That was, uh, they don't know what caused it, Hayes. I'm well aware of the dancing plague. <laughs> and yeah, it was like a mass hysteria thing. They don't know what caused it. Uh, but people just started dancing and they couldn't stop and they died, apparently. The dancing plague. I'm aware. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Yeah, it's, it's a thing. Yeah, there was a dancing plague. There's a lot of weird, weird stories. It was in Kingsman. I knew about, I never saw Kingsman. I just know random facts. I'm just a, a conduit of random facts. Let me tell you about these random facts. So for one, for some reason, I don't know. <laughs> Rockin' Raj, nice emote there. How come the rest didn't get approved yet? That's a nice, that's a nice emote there. How are you doing, Raj? Raj made affiliate, by the way. Are you guys following JB or Babumstead yet? <laughs> you totally should. I follow them. I also follow DJ Rock and Raj. Rock and Raj. <laughs> I can't wait to see the flamethrowers. Now that he has affiliate status, he can start creating uh, triggers. Hopefully nothing goes wrong. <laughs> You're watching five streams at the moment.
This thing is almost almost done there's a low point right here which is weird you got you can see the the two dark parts um this isn't weird that's always the last part because it's wider down here so you have to take off more material but there's weird that there's a little dent right there that could have been from uh maybe a clamp um i don't know why it's lower right there but it's not by a lot but now i have to even everything off to get that down. But it's looking nice. You can see now that the uh, the maple is sanded, it's, it's a lot lighter, um, which I am going to seal, seal it Maybe it will stay that way. It might turn dark. We'll see. Three of them with sound. <laughs> How many monitors do you have? Do you just have like a wall of monitors and you're just watching all the streams? You made your animated emote. You're set up with flames. Nice. Yes, uh, Rage. I'm, I'm thinking... I, I still haven't figured figured out everything yet, but uh, I think it, you had a good idea. I was, I was talking about it a little bit. Internet connection fading. <laughs> don't go, Willie. Willie, don't go. So Rage is coming up on the 20th. He's going to bring some wood for a Telecaster. We're both going to build tellies, and we're just going to go through the process. I don't know if we'll finish uh, I don't know if we'll finish one. We'll see how we do in 12 hours. We don't have to kill ourselves. Why kill ourselves? So Friday, Rage is coming up. We will build guitars. Saturday will be the hot tub stream because we have to chill out after doing like, you know, an all day stream. The second stream is the next day will be in the hot tub. Oh, which by the way, um, I'm working on my merch. Get ready for some merch. And I found a really good site. Um, I wasn't happy with the stream elements uh, merch options. Like you get mugs and t-shirts and hoodies, but I was like, I need trucker hats, right? I need aprons. So I found a site that I can do all the things, t-shirts, mugs, even ceramic cups. I really like ceramic cups and trucker hats and toques. So I can uh, do all the things. And here's another thing. I can, I can make anything. I can make Hank swimsuits for your, for your hot tubs. I can make Hank uh, sanding underwear, like proper underwear to wear while you sand, everything, dresses shop dresses for the ladies or the guys whoever shop dresses for everyone and aprons and bathrobes everything everything you can imagine i'm making merch for it looks good rock and raj it looks good a shop kilt indeed i don't know if they have kilts but i'm going to make tons of stuff yeah, I wear my apron in the hot tub, Willie. It, it would be obscene for me not to wear my apron in the hot tub. But I am going to have, I'm going to have Hank, uh, Hank dresses, Hank underwear. Get ready, you guys. My merch is going to drop soon. I got tons of merch. Because it doesn't matter. It's like I can just put my my designs on anything, right? So it'll be good. It is a terrible merch site if it doesn't, they have skater skirts. They call them skater skirts. It's not quite a kilt, but it's a skater, skater skirt. They do have those. Clo it's the best I can do. 
Yeah, me with no apron, you wouldn't even recognize me. You wouldn't even recognize me. You would just be like, I can't believe. Shocking. <laughs> A Hank Bud turtleneck sweater. Yeah. Yeah. Don't worry. I got it. I got you covered, Rage. I got you covered. I got I got so much merch coming down the pipe. I'm I'm starting my own apparel company. It's just called Hank cuz that's more that's more uh branding. Like that's my new clothing company. It's just called Hank. People will be like, what does this have to do with guitars? I'm like, it doesn't. I'm a brand. Baby onesies. Everything. I can brand everything. Yeah. That's a fine burn pile there, Rock and Raj. A fine burn pile. Why won't this dent come out? Why can't I get it even? This is getting frustrating. Where did you put my calipers? I didn't take your calipers. I have my own calipers. Hey, hey. Fingerless gloves. I'll check if there's gloves. That's a good one. I got so much merch. I got so much merch. Powdered wigs. I don't know if I got that. I'll see. Bloomer suit. Handkerchief. A handkerchief. Ha ha ha. A cod piece? No, but I, I, I will, I, a clockwork Hank. I will have men's underwear, guaranteed. So you, you'll see, you'll see. Sanding, Hank Bud official sanding underwear. A Hank Bud monocle. I'll see what else I have, what my options are, iPhone cases. There's a bunch of, just tons of stuff, tons of stuff. A, ho a hobble skirt? Okay, so they have dresses. They have those like kind of t-shirt dresses. And then they also have like those like super tight dresses. Those real tight ones. I think I have to design something. As a designer, it's tied at the bottom. I don't think they have that. They just have those t-shirt dresses and those real tight dresses. You can't run from me. Why would they run from me? They love me. They love me. Okay, so what about this? Hank hats, definitely. Definitely Hank hats. There's going to be Hank trucker hats with embroidered Hanks on them for reasonable prices. Um, guitar shaped stress ball. That's a good idea. That's a really good idea. Uh, I was thinking uh, one of, as like just for fun, uh, one of the, so they have the, those, yeah, it's getting weird. So, uh, they have those like those one piece like really tight dresses with the mini skirt that that you know Kim Kardashian stuff wears, right? I was thinking about get taking one of those dresses and putting my apron on it, and that it's it's a shop dress. I don't know if anybody will buy it, but I'm just going to have it as an option. I don't care. It doesn't cost me anything to have that as an option, so I'm just going to just come up with the most ridiculous merch. 
I'm just inspired by my merch options. Yes, Willie, Willie, I'm making a notebook, a Hank Bud notebook for all your guitar design ideas. That's what it's going to be called. The cover is like uh, Hank's, Hank's design inspiration notebook. Don't look, all my guitar ideas. There will be stationary, it's coming. No hobble skirts or bustles, yeah. It saves your butt. Exactly. I don't know if I have that as an option, but like, look, man, wherever the branding needs to go, I'm going to brand everything. You're getting the notebook? Okay, I'll make a, uh, I'll make, a, there is a notebook. There is a stationery. So it's like, I got, I got tons of stuff. I'm going to brand everything. Hank. It's just going to be Hank. That's my new brand. Hank Apparel. An eraser of Henry Big Brain. Yeah, I'll see what else there is. A ceramic coffee mug in the Roya Exodus print. Yes. Yes. Um, so, I before I, I uh, when I glued this together and sanded it, I took a photo, a really nice photo of th this uh, texture without it cut out. And I'm going to use that for different kind of branding and stuff. So um, I'm also going to use that because that pattern was just beautiful. I'm going to make a swimsuit out of it too. <laughs> New buds. Yeah, a dating app or just a friend app. It's like, it's like Tinder, but not for dates, just for finding friends. Friends you can sand with. A Panama hat. Yes, yes. Hank Cakes, yes. A Hank Bud Doodle. I think I can only do the cover. I don't know if I can do the inside station, like the inside pages. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> Aromatech, ah, see that's, I do have to get into my, my soap and my beard oil. I gotta, I'm just gonna brand everything. It'll be obscene. You guys, like it'll be funny at first and then it'll be like, like, kiss level branding you'll just be like man they branded everything <laughs> wheat straw hat i wish i did have a wheat straw brand hat and my vape i need Hayes to design uh some hank bud vape juice some <laughs> official hank bud vape juice a charm bracelet yes yes there is jewelry jewelry is an option Photo filter to turn you into Hank. Get a new charm for every guitar he builds. Actually, that's, you know what they call that, Willie? They call that um, case candy. So whenever you add little little things it, with the guitars, it's, it's kind of just like an added, an added thing, a little, little case candy for you when you buy a guitar. A beret. Yeah, actually, we do need matching berets. And flags. They have flags. I can print flags. I don't know what kind of... I can do that Hank Bud um, poster, that black and white one I made. I can do it as a flag. And guitar picks. Yes, of course. A Hank Bud bowler. I don't know if they have bowlers. I'll see. Yeah, they, Willie is good. I do need the guitar picks. I can 3D print uh, the guitar picks. I can make my own guitar picks, but I can definitely brand some as well. A Hank Bud Fez, that would be sweet. A Shop Fez. Put on your sanding Fez. That'll go with a monocle. The Bluebeard Hank Art, yeah. Hank, it just says Hank. I think that was that was the graphically probably the best one. Um, I'm working on some other stuff. Yeah, the Hank Bud Cloud. Just send it to the cloud. 
I don't spy on you like the rest of them. No, this, this is my logo. I do have a logo. This HB, I put that on my guitars. My guitars have, have the HB on it. So that's, that's, that's usually, that's my, ah, why can't I, there we go. So that's, that's my logo. Yeah. Um, that goes on things too. The little, ooh, rage polo shirts with the little HB. Rage, when you work for me, I'm going to make you wear a, a, a polo shirt with a little HB insignia right there. We'll all wear matching polo shirts and berets. Everyone will have to wear matching polo shirts and berets. You haven't earned your trucker hat yet. <laughs> Hank Bud Santa hats, Hank Bud Santa beards, pith helmets. I do need a pith helmet. Yes, uh, yes, Karen. We have to figure out some way to brand the headstock. So actually, Karen, um, it will already have the HB on the truss rod cover. So... Um, you don't have to put the HB. The HB will already be on. Um, I'll show you. The HB will be on a truss rod cover right there on the headstock. So you need to figure out what to put right here. So you can put like Hank Bud guitars right here or something. Yeah. What? I don't know what's going on. Okay. <laughs> and then we have to figure out what to do with the guitar. Why not? Look, Rage, I'm only going to listen to you when you're wearing an HB uh, polo shirt. Oh, bomber jackets. Hank Bud bomber jackets. Yeah. We got it all. You want one? I buy one. Nice. Bomber jackets are cool. Yeah, it's it, and baseball tees. Bomber jackets, trucker hats and baseball tees. Everyone likes that. <laughs> well, you would have to rage It'll keep you safe. Hank Bud body cam. Giving everyone you meet Hank Bud beard. <laughs> a Hank Bud guitar. That's the thing. It's like people will be like, did you know he used to build guitars before he just made merch? <laughs> Hank Bud shawl. Why build guitars when I can finally design my entire apparel line? I am a fashion designer. That's my real dream. Do you think I want to be building guitars? No, let me tell you about my real dream. Fashion designer. That's what I want to be. That's why I build guitars. But in my spare time, I'm a fashionista. I can be. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'll put that there. Buttons and patches, yes, we can bring back buttons and patches and stickers. I'll see if I can get buttons. Hank Duds, Hank Duds, oh, that's good, that's good. Willie, you are good at this. And Megan says, no, we could be making millions. Listen here, Rage, you don't tell me how to design clothes and fashion.
Why? Okay. Okay. Okay, Hayes, we'll catch you in a bit. Not your father's son. Thank you for following. Hank Bud Dog Bones. That's a really good idea. Renaissance fairs. Oh, just to do a full Hank Bud. Why do a guitar show when I can just have a Hank Bud show? Yes, Hank Con. Hank Con. Would you guys buy tickets and go to Hank Con? Measuring cups and mixing bowls. Kitchen apparel. Everything. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. But Megan will say no. She's trying to stand in the way of our dreams. Let me just uh, dust this off. I'll be right back in two seconds. Okay, good news everybody, good news. But wait, there's more. Hank Bud box wine. <laughs> Hank con can happen, cod pieces cannot. Yeah, Hank's Home Shopping Network. Well, that's the thing. You guys are going to be really disappointed uh, when it comes to guitars, but you're going to be excited when it comes to great savings on everyday products that you need. My whole channel will turn into an infomercial. I was thinking about doing that. That's actually what I was going to do on April 1st, but I didn't get around to it, that I was actually going to turn my entire stream into like an infomercial with like text going and different products and being like but wait there's more you know and i'll just be like the slap chop guy forget about guitars it's time it's time to sell kitchen appliances rage you're a salesman you know you know how it works okay let me show you what i did because i've been working today making bands rage I can make Hank Bud sports bras. That's what I can do for when you're, you're working out. That's what I can do. No lingerie, but I can do men's underwear and women's sports bras. <laughs> okay. There's, there's the fingerboard. It's pretty clean. Actually, it's really clean looking. Handkerchiefs. Hank, but oh, that actually is an option, Willie. I can do yoga pants. I totally can do Hank, but yoga pants. So there it is. Let me just check the radius of this. <laughs> Perfect. You guys have no idea this is one of my my best 
radiest fingerboards ever. Very even looking. Looks really good. Really good. Feels good. Now, once you radius that, and then you can feel, feel the neck. Yeah, that's good. That's good. I'm working today. I'm working today. Sorry. I'm not keep, keeping up with the chat because I'm actually working. Rage, why don't, why don't you spam the chat when I'm not working? Today I'm actually working. <laughs> I'm not repeating these things. I'm not repeating what's being said. That's exactly what I was thinking about, Rage. I can turn all my guitars into accessories. Yeah. Murica Woman. That's what it's going to be called. Murica Woman. 3D glasses and stream in 3D. You can watch my stream in 3D. That's the future. 3D streams. Oof. So, for the most part, bam. <laughs> Here, I gotta put this back. I need to. I need to sand just a little bit more, everybody. Just a little bit more. Just chill. I just need to sand a little bit more. Yeah. Oh man, Emmett's doing so good. I, I took him for a, a walk through the mountains. We went for a hike, a little hike this morning. That's what I do in the morning now. Who's this, Megan? I got big plans, everybody. Big plans. Hopefully I can do some of it this weekend. Uh, fine burn pile there. Raj. You get nothing. Good day, sir. A Hank Holy Grail. Well, I like the ceramic mug idea. I got things. I got things I'm working on. I got big plans. Big plans for this stream. Let me tell you. You guys are about to see some big, big happenings. Amazing happenings. You'll see. Yeah. <laughs> Here come the burn piles. Here they come. Fine burn pile there, but Bumstead. Man, you guys got a lot of channel points. Yeah. Soon, soon. I got things. I got things on the go. I'm working on it. I'm working on it, everybody. Trust me. Trust me. I just need one more weekend, one more weekend to do, do the things, but time, time is always the thing. Always have to deal with time. I can do a lot of things. I just don't have the time to do them all. I'm capable of a lot of things. But then there's this thing called time. It's 
So I'm just doing 220 right now. And I'm going to send this up to, um, I think, 400. Actually, no, maybe just 320. I'll do this up to 320 with uh, some... Some synthetic steel wool. Yeah, it feels nice and smooth. I'm not taking it to 12K. Uh, tomorrow on the podcast... We are talking about acoustic guitars because Bumstead, if you guys haven't seen, he is currently in the midst of a really fine acoustic build. He's doing a, uh, a flamed maple uh, acoustic uh, uh, for, his, uh, for his daughter. And it's going along pretty, he's, he's very close, very close. He was, I saw him putting in the side dots yesterday. So Manny wants to start getting back into doing acoustics again. And so I was like, great, let's, let's talk acoustics. Let's talk tone wood. Okay, Rage, you didn't tell me you had COVID. I hope you're feeling better. We got COVID uh, last month. You guys were wondering that that week where I was like, "Ooh, I'm pretty sick." That was actually COVID. I found out. <laughs> Everybody got it in the shop. You did earlier in the stream. I didn't see. I didn't see. It'll be okay. the uh, The strain is a lot weaker now than than it was before apparently but anyway everybody in the shop got it even meredith perfect simon got it um everyone survived you will survive too <clears throat> i'm sorry i didn't pay attention but i hope you and your family are doing doing better soon rage It, it was for me, I don't even know if I actually got COVID. I just know um, other people in the shop test got sick around the before and around the same time. And they, they tested positive. <clears throat> I had really bad body aches for two days. The cure was sitting in the hot tub. That was the cure I found. Um, so anyway... Simon was laid up for, for a day or two. Uh, Meredith, same thing. No uh, congestion, no, uh, no fever, just really bad body aches and headaches. Yeah, it, it, it just, yeah. That sucks. But hopefully... 101 well you just take it easy rage and hopefully like if you're not feeling up for the 20th uh don't feel like you gotta push yourself we'll just play it by ear we'll just see how you feel uh later yeah rage will power through it my 320. I don't have any 320. 220. Here we go. 
Yeah, so it seemed like... You're going. Okay, Rage. Rage isn't going to let anything hold him back. He's going to conquer COVID and come up here and be a uh, inspiration to us all. Rage conquered COVID because you know what the cure is? Love. And Rage has so much love coming from all of us to him. Anyway, <laughs> we'll see. I hope uh, everything works out. It will be nice to have Rage up here again in uh, end of the month or towards the end of the month. But we can always delay it. Whatever. We'll do it. We'll see. We'll just see. We'll see. I'm not going to say anything. We'll see. Hank Bud handbags. Yes. Designer bags. Fanny packs. I can make fanny packs. DJ Rock and Raj. DJ Rock and Raj, would you wear a Hank Bud fanny pack? There we go. That's nice and smooth. Blakely would. Okay. Don't worry. I'm launching my merch. I can also make children's size t-shirts as well. For all the little Hank fans out there. Blend some tea. Yes. Yes. Uh... Rage needs some medicinal tea from, from Megan. Megan makes the best tea. Actually, ooh, Karen, if you're still there, Karen, I'm going to put some of Megan's tea in your box uh, when, I, when I ship out that, uh, that guitar body. You'll get some tea. Megan's tea. Yes. Okay, I just have to blow this off again. Yes. Okay, Megan. Actually, Megan, we, um, I, I have, there's, I, I have half a jar of the, the Hank's bedtime tea. So it's like, I think I have some Hank's bedtime tea I can, I can put in there. I have rages. I'll give her rages tea. Yeah. Hayes, how are you doing? It is not. That's fire walk with me. Summer tea. Well, label it then. <laughs> All I tasted was there was chamomile. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Yeah. So I just finished radiusing the fingerboard. For anybody who is interested, um, the fingerboard is slightly radiused and so I use a radius block, a 12 inch radius block to get that nice bird's eye maple uh, properly radius before I put the frets in and then I sanded it up really nice uh, and then blew out all the dust in the fret slots and now, now I'm going to have to put the frets in.
A Hank slingshot for the raccoon that's getting the trash bins. I'll see what I can do. I'll see what I can do. I need all these things. Oh, you're missing some key herbs. Well, that's what the people want is Hank's bedtime tea. Well, then what am I going to give my people? The people want Hank's bedtime tea. That's sorry, Megan. I know you were going to start your own tea company, but I'm going to steal all your, your recipes and brand it as my own. Hank's Tea Company. I'm sorry. Welcome to the real world, Megan. This whole time I've been playing you. Ha ha. I finally... I finally got uh, the tea recipes. Now I'll ban you from the stream. <laughs> okay, I'll have to go in, in search of these, these herbs, these to make, make the proper Hank's bedtime tea and the proper... I don't even know how to make Hank's bedtime tea. I know it... I just like chamomile tea. Yeah. <laughs> Look. I did what I had to do to get the tea. Nobody will even remember that I used to stream guitars as a tea baron. Nobody will even remember I used to build guitars on Twitch. So they'll just be like, oh, Hank Bud, the biggest, the Coca-Cola of the tea world. Forget Tetley. Forget Twinnings. Forget Red Rose. Forget David's Tea. Forget it all. There's only one tea company now. And it's Hank Bud's tea. The tea baron. Yeah. I'll just I'll just give her some of that tea. That'll be fine. I think Karen will enjoy that. I don't think I'm qualified. I'm just not qualified to mix teas. I'm a woodworker, not a tea maker. Okay. <laughs> I will make a bedtime blend. Okay. Hayes, how are you doing? Let me get my fret press. So I have a bunch of stainless steel frets. I went with stainless steel. But, good news. I'll show you some good news in a moment. Actually, first... I have to get all the frets in here and I have to make sure they're the right, the right length because, okay, so these are free cut, pre-cut frets, which is kind of handy because they're also, um, the ends are also trimmed. I think I showed you this the last time and I'll show you, I'll show you here. So you see that, you see that it's trimmed on the edge. So that's so, you see that the slot doesn't go all the way to the end. So that's so it can hang over the side. So that's already done, that's super handy. Normally you have to do that by hand or with like a Dremel or a grinder or something. Don't worry, Karen. I'll figure out how to blend you some tea. Man, I gotta do everything. I, I make I make the basswood body, and now everyone has demands on me. I'm just one man. Everybody wants all this merch and all these guitars and all these things. And you know, I try and please everyone. I try and do what they want, what they expect of me. 
But sometimes it's hard, all these expectations. Brun Brunsvier production for Hank Bud. I don't know what Brunsvier is, Hayes. Enlighten me. Okay, Megan. Brun Brunsvier cake? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Get to work. Hank Bud dog muzzle. Do you need that for your Hank Bud? DJ Rock and Raj, do we need dog accessories for all the Hank Bud dogs in the world? Oh man, I have to sort all of these. They're all different sizes because they're tapered, right? Um, luckily, it does look like they do, they do fit my, uh, my fingerboard, which is handy. What is the widest one here? Hmm. Here's the widest. The widest is too wide. I might have to grind that one down. This one's even wider. Hey, what's the, uh, where are the shop tomorrow? Do you know? They have a class. Or Meredith has a class tomorrow. Yeah, it's fine. It's just, uh, yeah, she's she's just doing an acoustic class tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> Waylon needs a Hank leash. Brown sugar. I'll, I will look it up, Hayes. Pastry bread with brown sugar. I have to make all my frets. I have to get all my frets lined up perfectly. It's going to be a little bit tricky, but uh, should. Then that one's too big. Some of these, they're not perfect. Hmm, hmm. Oh wait, maybe this one goes right here. Okay. Um, out of here. Okay. I'm gonna jump on camera to wish everybody a great weekend. Enjoy yourselves. Enjoy the sunshine and the sanding. Yeah, you can sand, sand yourselves this weekend. Okay, we'll see. You tomorrow. Yeah, Maybe. yeah, I'll be in in the afternoon. Alrighty. Jaime's out of here for the night. Brunsweiger. <laughs> Hank, bud, I'll start getting into infrastructure eventually. Uh, probably when I do Hank's World, uh, kind of like Disney World, but better and bigger, more commercialized. Oh, okay, you 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 pronounce the G's different. Okay, like Hank Lincoln Logs. 
Redneck Danish. I have no idea what Redneck Danish sounds like. <laughs> uh, I was hoping that these would uh, would fit perfectly. They, they're the right size, but some of these, it looks like I'm going to have to going to have to trim a few of them. Hmm. Hmm. Man, this is really trying to find, there's 22 frets here and I need to find the right taper. I'm just going through these things. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm just trying to find the, the exact taper for all these different frets. Find the right ones to go in the right spot. I think that one goes here. That should be good. That should be good. I'll drop that one down there. Right there, right there. It's like a puzzle. Okay, these are starting to actually all fit into place properly so I don't have to trim if everything goes well I won't have to trim any of these things <laughs> I am not familiar with Danish at all um, but I'll I guess that could be similar to uh, in in Canada, the, the French is kind of considered redneck French, not like proper, proper French. Canadian French is a little, little dirtier, apparently, supposedly. <laughs> anyway. Once I get these all in place, then I can, I can uh, start pressing them. It looks like a few of them I'll need to grind a little bit, but for the most part, it looks like they fit pretty snug. I might have a few extras, which is good. Too long. That's too. Let's see what we got here. Oh, that's a shorter one. That one can go. It can even be shorter than that one. And that one. It's in there. These are still a little. I think my binding is a little a little wide uh, comparatively, but for the most part, these things they they seem to be f okay. These were the only frets I needed frets, and uh, we were kind of delayed in our stumac order, so this these frets these pre-cut frets were the only frets that I could get uh, within like a day or two, so it's like. It's not ideal. It's better to just cut your own, but uh, it's like th these will do. Just have to grind, grind a bit of them. Let's see, that's that one goes there. Goes there. I have to be really careful 
when I'm pressing these in that they, do, they, they reach all the way. Hmm. I don't want to have to pull any of these out. Okay. Okay. I'm close. Very close. It looks like the frets towards the bottom here. I'm going to have to, oh, I have an extra fret. They gave me an extra fret. So that one that's the longest, I'll drop the other ones down. That one ju just right. There we go. It's like a puzzle. Which one goes with which? These ones are still too long. That one's Okay, that looks pretty close. Oh, where'd that one come from? Shift everything down. Oh, I wonder if I got 24 frets. This might actually work now. Yeah. Yeah, I think I got 24 frets. My fingerboard is only 22. There we go, sorry. I was uh, distracted with getting my frets just right. Let me see. Um, yeah, there's a lot of different dialects. Canada, actually, the dialects, the weird dialects are more out east, like um, in the Maritimes on the East Coast and in Quebec. Um, that's where all the Canadian dialects are. Western Canada actually has pretty... Uh, doesn't really have any extreme dialects that are like hard to understand. Mostly everybody in Western Canada talks like me. So just stick to Western Canada. Proper. I wouldn't say it's the Queen's English, but it's not bad either. <laughs> Blues guitars. You can sing your blues on them. I do make blues guitars. I do. I already do make the blues guitars. Okay. That one's too wide. Okay. I'm going to have to grind a few of these down. But most of them look okay. Um, should be okay. I might take out the smallest one and just move everything up so that I have a bit of edge. I think that'll be better. It's just so I have a little bit of wiggle room. I always like to give myself a little bit of allowance just in case. Usually I give uh, the frets more of an overhang than this, but this is what I'm working with. So it requires a little bit, a little bit more planning. Okay, there we go. Those are the frets. <laughs> hey, hey, Panic, how are you doing tonight? Yeah, Newfoundland, Newfoundland is pretty hard to understand. Um, it's pretty extreme. It's almost like a really extreme kind of like Irish... Uh, very accent which I know in like Ireland and the UK there's a lot of weird kind of regional dialects that are hard to understand they kind of brought that over into Newfoundland Nova Scotia it's more Scottish your, pa your panic what are you up to tonight it's Friday night panic what are you up to what are you up to tonight 
Yeah. I know the South there does have some pretty extreme uh, dialects. I was watching this thing, uh, actually, of... Uh, they, they had, like, sometimes when they're interviewing, like, people from the South or the Appalachians and stuff, it's like, I, I can't understand what they're saying. <laughs> they have to have, like, subtitles. I guess that's the Smoky Mountain region, isn't it? Have you eaten yet? Jeet? Jeet? Have you eaten yet? <laughs> Jeet? So it's like, did you eat? Did you eat? Did you eat? Makes sense. Did you eat? <laughs> yeah. Nah, the, the new fee is uh, all the um, the the Norse uh, colonies uh, were wiped out in Newfoundland. They were all wiped out. Interesting story. They, they had a lot of social problems that caused them to collapse, and then the, uh, the natives uh, got rid of them. So, yeah, there's, there were Norse colonies on the East Coast. None of them survived. Completely unintelligible. They're just really big hills. Yeah, steep inclines. Well, it is. It was probably really, really nice country back in the day. Okay. Um, let me let me grab my fret press. I gotta get my fret press. So I'm going to try and just actually, I gotta get two things. I need my neck call. Give me a second. I need to find find my stuff. Here it is. I found one thing. Actually, you know what? I, I have to clear I have to clean up my bench before I can start uh, start uh, fret pressing. I need more space. This men bench is a mess. What is this glue doing here? Why is there glue here? There's all this glue everywhere. There's Coca Bolos behind me. There's Paduk. What is all this? What is all this? Okay. So. I'll just kick things out of the way. Okay, okay. Get that. More glue. Get this glue out of the way. Okay. I need my full my full bench for this. Because I'm also going to have to hammer it in a little bit as well. Hey, hey, Grizzly Shadow Frost, thank you for that follow. Um, get that out of the way. Okay, okay, okay. I need... Oh man, all my carving stuff. This, this thing is still a mess from when I carved the neck. This is a week's worth of, uh, I don't keep my bench super clean. Hey, hey Emmett, what's going on? Oh, Emmett, Emmett's up from his nap. Here, let me, I have to give Emmett a bit of attention here. Hey Emmett, Emmett, come here, come here, come here. Oh, he doesn't. Oh, Emmett. He's just sitting under my, under my bench, checking things out. Now he's moving on. <laughs> I should clean that bench. Oh, 
Okay. Puppy. Do you miss Emmett, Megan? Of course you do. Of course you do. Okay. Uh, let's get my... Okay. So I'm going to be putting frets in here. This is the fret press. I'm just going to clamp that down. This is the fret press. It's for pressing the frets in there. Now, before I can put the frets in there, before I can put the frets in there, I have to get the frets positioned in the neck. I need the cone and I need a fretting hammer. Let me see if I can find a fretting hammer now. Oh, there's two right there. Okay. Yeah, his his markings are super nice. Uh, he's a real interesting looking dog. Okay, so. Uh. Okay, so before I press them in, you can just hammer these in as well. I like the press. Press them if you got them. The, the press is, is really good uh, for even, even pressure, but you still have to um, hammer the, the ends in so that it, uh, it holds in place before you uh, put the before you press them in. I just have to position them just right because I don't have a lot of wiggle room. A lot of times, like when you just trim, trim them yourself, uh, you get the frets in coils and then you can just cut off what you need. I usually give myself quite a bit of excess because it's just easier to work with. These are a real pain to get in here. Come on. Yeah, it keeps uh, keeps flipping over. It's not going in straight. Come on, come on. Why? Why? Why doesn't this thing want to go in? It's really weird just keeps keeps like shifting over why Get in. Yeah. stupid thing okay okay let's press that in there Ch -ch -ch -ch. Okay, so let's get this lined up and then it's just pushes it down. Oh, what the heck? What the heck? It keeps popping out. I don't know why. Don't know why. What the heck is wrong? Usually this is not a problem. I don't know if he's... Come on. I wonder if these, these tangs don't look much 
thicker. I don't know why it doesn't want to go in. Hmm. There we go. Just needs to hold in. I don't need. Oh, I shifted it over too much. These are a real pain. It's a real pain to get in here. Come on. Normally, like I said, ah, oh, ah, oh, don't want to dent this thing. These are stupid. They are really narrow, like they just fit. And it's like, this doesn't wanna. It almost feels like my slot is too narrow for these frets. Like, I'm going to measure my other frets. Let me, give me a second here. I wonder if these are a different uh, a different width. So there's a tang on here. So normally, so there's a tang on there. Okay. Willie, you have a good night. We'll catch you again. Hey, Jude Dillon, how are you doing? Thank you for that follow. So... I might not be able to use these frets if that tang, because I cut them for this, this size. There's something, something weird. I don't know, understand why it's not going in. Let's see if these are the same thickness. If these are wider, no, they're not wider. Why? Why are you giving me trouble? Why are you giving me trouble? I just want to hammer these in. I just want to hammer them in. So, I don't like that because I don't want to dent the fingerboard with these, putting these in there. I just need to hold it. I don't know why the press didn't do it. Okay, come on. Let's hold in place. Usually, you just tap one end, one end in. I wonder if it's the radius. Could be the radius is too, too shallow. I don't know. I don't know. It just keeps wanting to bend. I don't know why. Don't know why. <laughs> Yeah, uh, and I don't want to mangle this thing up. That's the last thing I want. Ah, oh, what the heck? I do not understand why I'm having these troubles. Unless I just started that one wrong. What you do is you just pop one corner in. Like that. And then you pop the other. Yeah. Okay. I don't know why that first one, that first one did not want to work. I might have hit it at an angle and then it just didn't want to, just didn't want to go. I'm going to have to go back to that one at the end, but we'll see. Let's see about there, there, this one was fine. I don't know what happened. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. That one did not want to go in. 
So this one just got pressed in fine. I don't know why. My first one, I must have hit it at an angle and it bent it. So I'm just going to do the others now. That one worked. I just got to be super careful. Super careful. Be more careful. Don't make mistakes. That's the trick. Yeah. Okay, I don't know. I don't know what I did wrong there, but I did something wrong on that first one. Now it's just working correctly. There we go. I really like this press. It gets those frets in really nice and even. You can, you can see that there, right in there. And it's like, yeah. It's funny, once you start getting frets onto the neck, it suddenly uh, starts to Starts to look like a neck. Orbiter! What's going on? Hey, Deltomics. Hazard. How are you guys doing tonight? I'm just putting, uh, just pressing some frets into this fingerboard. You guys missed my, my first one wasn't going so well, but now they're all working properly. Except, I think I'm going to have to grind these a little bit. But, yeah, good to see you too. Um, so I'm just getting, come on, get in there. I don't know why some of these do not want to go in. Ah. I think it's the angle. I think uh, I'm, I need to kind of position myself a little bit differently in here. Orbiter, how are you doing? What were you working on tonight, Orb? So I'm just getting the, uh, the frets. I have to position myself better. <laughs> So I can actually do these lined up. I just finished radiusing this fingerboard and now I'm just popping in the frets. They're a little bit of a pain because I have a um, binding on the fingerboard which is just like, ugh. Normally I'm, I'm just popping frets in there. It's a lot easier because it's uh, uh, I don't have to worry about hiding the fret ends or like getting that overhang. Yeah. But anyway, this one's coming along. The neck, the neck is pretty much finished on this one. Pretty much finished. Um, the body is sanded up. Pedal work, base setup, fret level, nice. On a V, right on. This one is uh, very close. Uh, I'm just waiting, waiting for some pickups and some tuners, but if I get the frets in and do all the fret work to today or tomorrow, it's all good. This thing, I should uh, be spraying it on Monday and uh, yeah this thing should be done next week so if you guys feel free to pop in during the week to, to see it getting close to completion also if you guys are interested uh, I'll be doing a talk with um, Babumstead and Manny from Guitar Show Australia on Saturday so tomorrow uh, two hours earlier than now, I'll be chatting with those guys and we're going to be talking tone wood and acoustics. Hey, thank you for that follow, XJB, XJ Bird X. Yeah, it's coming along. Rhino, how are you doing? 
And then I'm, I got to get going on Rhino's, Rhino's ukulele. Yeah, um, if you're into Guitar Builders uh, XJ Bird, you should check out check out our group Discord. Orbiters on there. Um, myself, Babumstead, the Guitar Show Australia, uh, a bunch of others. Uh, if you're into guitar building on Twitch, uh, definitely check those guys out and uh, give us give us a follow. Yeah, I know. Uh, Rhino delivered. Rhino delivered his end of the deal, uh, so now I have to. I have to deliver him. And Rhino, I figured it out uh, for the tailpiece. It's actually good that there was a bit of time because it'll actually be a lot easier to string this uh, this ukulele than uh, a regular one. I know a lot of people are kind of like. Uh, intimidated by like, oh, how do you string string the nylon strings and tie it together? It's not that hard, but it does take a little bit more time. This one will be a little bit different, and uh, it it'll be different, but it'll actually be easier. And uh, so Rhino will be getting getting this one. I'm converting. This was a an experiment where I did a uh, um, a four string tenor guitar. It, it's a baritone ukulele size. I tried to do steel strings with a floating bridge and I just could not get the intonation quite right for, a, uh, for the tuning that I wanted. So I'm going to convert it back into a, a ukulele, which is what it kind of was before. So it's a very, very nice ukulele. It's got, it's all walnut. Um, with a spruce top, bastone walnut, and uh, yeah, so this one will be going to Rhino soon. So I'll be starting that one next week, or just basically all I want to do is refinish it, do a, a new tailpiece on it, and just get it get it looking really nice. Um, oh, nice! You're you're a luthier as well, looking to get. Check out our Discord, uh, XJ. Um, uh, you can post some of your stuff. Let us know when you start streaming. It's definitely uh, uh, it's good to kind of meet other luthiers. And if you're interested in streaming, check out what the other guys are doing on there as well. And you can uh, there's a section where you can plug your stream to let us know uh, when you're you're streaming and a place to kind of show your work and get acquainted with the community. Um, yes, I can see who bought tickets. Yes, I can. Um, if you guys haven't seen, so the reason I'm making uh, Rhino a ukulele is because Rhino, Rhino made me a bust of my own head. So he, he followed through on his, his end of the deal. So now I got a, I gotta, I gotta follow through on mine. So, <laughs> yeah, it turned out really, really nice. So, uh, yeah, that's worth, that's worth a ukulele for sure. Jazz, uh, jazz guitar Jeff, thank you for that follow. So, this was an interesting, interesting project. It's ridiculous now. People come into the shop and they're like, "Oh, you have a bust of your own head now," and I'm like, "Yes, don't you?" Because why not? Why not? Anyway, <laughs> luthiers, man. Uh, there's been some good collaborations this year. Uh, I've been meaning to collaborate more with other other people on Twitch. Uh, if you guys don't know, can we get a shout out to Rhino Lion as well? Uh, Rhino is a sculptor and a potter. Uh, you guys can see the Big Brain. Rhino, have you uh, seen the Big Brain Henry song? We already have a theme song with it. The It's called Big Brain Henry. Um, 
Yeah, well, that's the thing. It's uh, haze. It's it's getting warmer now. That's winter. That's winter time. Is where when I wear the toque. Now now it's summer weather. Now it's trucker hats. I think it's pretty good. I think the the profile is spot on, and in the future, I'd rather be remembered as looking like that than like this. So it's it's far more stylized. It it's like me if I was a Greek god. And uh, hopefully the bust will survive and people ponder, ponder my image for centuries to come. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was a great job. I, I need a summer bust now. <laughs> yeah, it's like, Rhino, it's all wrong. It has a toque. I wear a, a trucker hat. Do it again. Do it again. Or I won't make you a ukulele. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, it's wrong. Anyway. <laughs> You're not building a brim. Yeah. <laughs> and then it has to be shipped. <laughs> no, no, it's like... Uh, mm. No, no, uh, Rhino, it's, it's, it's like the... Uh, it would be like making a, a top of like a, a, um, a teapot. The hat is a separate piece that you just plop on top. <laughs> Three boxes. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so I got to get going on that. Also, if you guys, oh, here's another thing. Uh, I was showing it off earlier. Give me a second. Ah. I got, speaking of collaborations, um, yeah, it could be a cookie jar. Yeah. I need a Hank head cookie jar. I can't even use that as a, I can't store anything in that thing. The worst Hank head jar ever. Anyway, uh, speaking of collaborations, this is an, a basswood guitar, all basswood. So that Karen Day is my name can make it flamier and can, uh, in, use her pyrography skills to burn a design onto this whole thing. So uh, this will be going out uh, soon, but I did get it, it cut out. So more collaborations with other streamers. So yeah, this, this will be really, really neat. So we'll, we'll get to see soon uh, what Karen, Karen can do whatever she wants with this thing. Um, I'll mark off, oh, that's another thing, Karen, I will draw, I'll trace where the bridge is as well, so you know what will be covered. Um, there will be a bridge here, and there will be a plate here, and obviously the plate there, uh, and that's it. Everything else is like fair game, so anything you want to do to that, soon. Yeah. But everything else, like the knobs won't be much bigger than that. But I would suggest obviously not making the bridge a focal point, depending on your design, what you do. But you can have stuff run into it. It'll just be covered up, just so you know what's covering up. But it, it, it won't look bad if, if the design runs into it. It's just not, you know. But I'm not going to tell you how to party. Yeah, I, I won't I won't ban her. Not yet. Not until I get get it back and then I ban Karen and then I'm like, hey everybody, look what I made. Look, I just finished burning this guitar. And I'll just put it up for sale. Pocket all the money. That's what I do. I use you all. Sorry, Rhino. I'm about to ban Rhino from the chat and be like, I don't know what you're talking about. I've always had a bust behind me. I made that myself. I'm just going to get all these things and be like, no, I made them myself. 
Um, I'm going to do a, a hip shot, a hip shot bridge, like a hard tail, um, like this. It'll be a, it'll probably, I'm going to do chrome. So just simple, two humbuckers, hard tail bridge. Um, it's going to have a maple neck. I'll show you the maple neck. I think this one is it. Um, it's not done yet, but it's going to be uh, nice. I think that'll work with the, the pyrography will be like just different shades of brown. I laminated a little bit of black walnut here for a bit of, uh, a bit of just outline there. Yeah, uh, actually, um, I'm going to pretty much build, like, I'm going to assemble the guitar and uh, drill everything out before I send it to her. I'm going to sand it up. It'll be pretty much finished. I'll disassemble it, sand it up, so then I can send her the art, the, uh, the body. She can do the art, and it comes back, and I just spray it, and I'll do minimal work on it. Uh, because I don't want I don't want to damage any of the art things can always happen so I'm going to do most of the build before I send it and the art will be done like I just get it I clear coat it and then um, I put I'm going to drill the ferrule holes out everything will be drilled out and then I just spray it and assemble it and it should be good to go okay Hayes fair enough you have a good good morning Good morning, Hayes. Thanks for uh, stopping in. Yeah. Anyway, that's that's the plan with this one. Um, soon, I still have a, a bunch more work to do on it, but I have, um, I do have the bridge, I have the neck, so I can I can do the ferrules and everything now. Um, the guitar I'm working on right now, right now. You guys, I've showed this one, but this one, all the holes are drilled. Um, there's still a, a few things. Uh, I've filled pretty much most of the holes. This thing is is ready to go. Um, everything's everything's ready. Um, I still have to cut out a Paduke plate. Uh, that's it. And yeah, I really like Cindy guitars. She does some really cool stuff. Um, so I do, I'm just kind of leaving it up to Karen. She can do whatever she wants. So it, I've seen some really neat stuff. So we'll see. We'll see. No pressure. No pressure. Just have fun. That's, that's the thing that kind of uh, made Rhino's portraiture work. That, that sculpture was, it was just kind of a fun project. You know, it was just, just have fun with it and, and just do it. And whatever, whatever comes out, comes out. It's all good. It's just a fun project. It's a fun collaboration, you know? Yeah, this is a, a pressure dyed uh, Buckeye Burl top with a Paduke, chambered Paduke body with a little maple strip around it. Then the neck, the neck is uh, Paduke with maple and then uh, bird's eye maple fingerboard with Paduke binding, little blue strip in there. And then a uh, more, more burl for the head cap but I still have to finish. It's still rough back here. I haven't got the uh, tuners yet, so I might still need to do some more work. I don't know how the exact thickness, it'll probably be like 14 mils, but I, I got some hip shot uh, tuners coming in. This is also getting chrome, all chrome hardware, hip shot hardtail, hip shot tuners, and uh, yeah, all chrome. Three-way toggle, tone and volume. 
Buckeye, yeah, Buckeye makes really, really nice tops. If you have some Buckeye burl, it, it makes really, I'll show you some, what it looks like uh, natural. Uh, we have another, uh, another guitar in here. This, here's, uh, it's very light right now, but once it gets uh, some finish, it'll darken up. But that's, that's Buckeye Burl with a swamp ash, swamp ash body. Yeah, Orb, I was, I put that little blue strip just to tie in some blue to the, the fingerboard. It's, it's not so noticeable on camera, but when you hold it, it's, it's there and it, it looks good. Yeah. Yeah, this one is a, a very heavy metal guitar. Uh, this is Will's, Will's Dunvegan. Um, but it, he's still filling a lot. There's so much, so many little chips and things to fill but it'll look pretty neat. Yeah, those little, the little detail, the detail oriented stuff. Um, I'll show you another one. Will, Will has a, a couple, a couple builds on the go. He's also got this Zercote. Um, yeah, it's offset. So this is uh, black limba, black limba body with a uh, zircote uh, top. And this one's going to have a wenge neck with a, I think a, a maple fingerboard. Briggs likes that one. It's pretty nice. The zircote looks pretty good. And the uh, black limba, black limbas are really good. Good wood. These are, are really light. These are shredder, total shredder guitars. This is one of the new Dunvegans. Yeah, Will has a couple on the go. He finished uh, the, uh, the Claro Walnut one. He put in um, these, these pickups called Nazgul's, Seymour Duncan Nazgul's, and I thought they were a joke. When he said he was getting Nazgul's, I was just like, oh, that's so cheesy. And he, but I heard them, and man, they are really nice. Um, not just for like heavy metal, but they're, they're really clear and bright pickups. Like they're really hot pickups, but they have a really nice, nice sound when you're just like uh, playing it, like just uh, without any effects. They're, they're actually surprisingly nice, nice sounding pickups. I thought they were just a joke, but they weren't. They are called Nazgul's though, which is kind of, it's funny, but also kind of cheesy. <laughs> Yeah, they are. They are really nice pickups. I'm not much of a metal guy, but uh, obviously Will Will is the metal guy in this. Yeah, they are a good combo. Yeah, for sure. Will, he was going to get some, uh, he usually gets uh, bare knuckles for his, but uh, this time he was like, he could, he just wanted to get something quick, and so he got those Nazgul's off of Amazon. So... They work, they totally work. They sound really good, really good. So, I have to keep uh, fretting this, but my fret ends are, I'm going to have to grind these fret ends a little bit, just a little bit. So, they don't quite, quite line up how I want them to. But for the most part, it's good. So these are some stainless steel frets. Um, I don't... I, I've done a lot of stainless steel. Sometimes it's, it's just easier easier to work with uh, the nickel, but whatever. So um, 
XJ, uh, what kind of guitars do you build? The CBN wheels are life-changing. Nice. I'm not too familiar with those either. Come on, just go in straight. This thing keeps, this fret, it's really annoying. It keeps uh, twisting on me. Come on, go in straight. Oh. There we go. Nope. Why don't you go in? I hate that. It went in, when I hammered the one side in, it went in a little crooked, and now it just wants to go in crooked. And that's not good. Come on. Come on. Ah. Yeah. I'm going to do this one last. I'm going to go get back the first fret. First fret was the worst one. Why? I usually don't do bound fingerboards. Yes, they're total metal pickups, Megan. Total, like, yeah. Of course they're metal pickups. They're Nazguls. <laughs> you spent five... Oh, it's five years as a department manager for Gibson Acoustics. And you do not do... You do not build acoustics. I do a little bit of acoustics, but I've mostly just been doing electrics this last year, uh, mostly because there's more interest in that. Um, I started out doing a lot of ukuleles, but uh, now, oh, nice, seven string, nice. Nice, uh, what, what sort of uh, top like that you're engraving, is it a metal top? Pain. A real pain tonight. Come on. Come on. And why? Why? These ones, I don't know what is different. There's something different about this and they do not want to go in. I don't know if my fret slots, it's like there's not much I can do if my fret slots are a little thin at this point, which kind of sucks. 
they do go in, they just are not going in easily. And I can't widen the fret slots because of the binding. So I gotta just kind of make it work, but they're not, they're not making it easy on me, which is, I can do it, it's just not. They just do not want to go in. Just keep spitting them out. That's not good. Not good at all. Nope, they just keep spitting them out. Um, this is kind of annoying. So, anyway. Yeah. Oh, nice. What did you use to engrave it? Did you use a, a laser or a CNC? Hey, Mangoes, how are you doing? Um, I'm just putting, putting some frets in, but having troubles, having troubles live, live on stream. Um, I think I'm going to have to, um, I just want to be really careful with these. Like I, I really don't want to wreck this fingerboard. Uh, I got a few in, um, but they're just not, uh, they're not being easy on me and I can't really make those fret slots wider than they are. So I got a little bit of a a little bit of trouble here. Um, I think I can get them in. I'm just gonna have to be like super, super careful as I hammer them in because they 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 keep when I hammer them in, they're not just going down into the slot. They're they're like turning and then it's like I don't want them to chip out the fingerboard either. So I just need to hold them in place to press them, but they're not holding in place and they're not just like going into the slot, which is a bit, bit unfortunate. A bevel on the slot? What do you mean? I have a tang crimper. It's, do you think it's the, What could I do to make that easier? A small bevel on the slot? 